name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My well, brothers and sisters, we um, heard the gospel story of the account of the resurrection, and what a difference the scene that welcomed Mary and the other women from the one that they had expected. We hear that the women left for the tomb while it was still dark and before it was yet light. By a custom of the law, they shouldn't have gone to the tomb until it was light. They shouldn't have gone in the dark because it was still in the remains of the Passover Sabbath. So even the timing tells us something about the women's faith. They had gone early. They had gone ahead of time, even though it was still dark. Why had they gone ahead of time? It was their passionate love of the Lord that caused them to go early, without haste, even before the time was right. And they were the first, therefore, to reach the tomb, because passionate love is always the first to act. We should pray, brothers and sisters, for that passionate love of the Lord, so that we don't need to wait to be asked. But each one of us, on our own account, rushes, even early, let us say, to tend to the body of the Lord in all of its needs. And the women were the first to act, even before the church institutional had been roused. We pray, brothers and sisters, for a lay faithful, passionate in love, of the Lord, so that you in that passion will go ahead even of the institutional church. You will go ahead to find the Lord in every place where he is needed, in every place where he is to be found among the dead. Why had Mary and the other women gone? To the tomb. They hadn't gone for the glory of the resurrection. They hadn't been expecting to see a glorious scene. They had gone because, as the scriptures tell us, they'd had to lay the Lord in the tomb in haste because the Sabbath day was approaching. And so they had to leave the Lord in his bloodstains. They had to leave the Lord's body unwashed. So why were they hastening to the tomb? While it was still dark, why were they hastening, hastening to the tomb even before the dawn? Why were they going early? Because they didn't want to leave the Lord in the midst of his stained blood. They didn't, couldn't bear to leave the Lord in his perhaps grotesque state. They wanted to make him clean in his body. They wanted to make him fragrant. And that is why they left early, not because the Lord was in his glory, but because the Lord was still in shame. We, brothers and sisters, again, we pray for that passionate love of the Lord. It is right, it's good that we come here this evening and celebrate the Lord in his glory, for he summons us to this place of transfiguration. It's right that we come here in glory. But let's pray for the real gospel spirit to be even sooner, even quicker, that we even anticipate more finding the place of the Lord where he is needy, where he is unclean, 
where he needs our cleansing and our washing among the poor surely and among the needy but the women went when it was still dark to the tomb and if we take the whole of the gospel picture bringing all of the gospel stories together we find in other places the scene left them not with the consolation of the angel who explained everything but in other accounts we hear that they are without the presence of the angel to guide them and so as they come in the dark to the tomb they're also in the dark as to what had happened they left on their own can't understand the event they're confused by things and left on their own they are disturbed by the stone that's rolled away their hearts feel the emptiness that was inside the tomb their spirits are as distracted as ever by the absence of the lord and they don't remain lost among the facts trying to work things out instead they go to the church to peter and john to the mind of the church to the heart of the church they know that in the dark of the facts they'll not be able to make much sense but if they come to the church they'll find meaning and light and truth let us brothers and sisters be a faithful passionate people ready to go out to find Christ's broken body wherever it is among the dead and to tend to it or to have that intention but in the times of darkness where we don't know what to do or where to go let us all remember to return to the church to the mind of the church in Peter who goes to the tomb and finds things as they are to John the heart of the church who sees and believes let us therefore brothers and sisters be the passion of Mary let us also be the mind of Peter let us also be the heart of st. John the Lord has risen as he said he would resurrect it secret deep seat alleluia alleluia